Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Northwest Craftsman. Today we're going to be unboxing the Milwaukee M18 Jigsaw because I've needed one around my shop for a while and I figured what a better time to get one. Perks of this guy is it's battery powered um, so it's cordless which means that you can go basically anywhere you want and there's nothing really like a jigsaw in your shop for cutting off end weird shapes like circles or otherwise especially if you don't have a scroll saw. All right let's get this guy unboxed. The first thing to note about this particular product is that it is the tool only. It does not have a battery and it does not have blades so if you don't have those, you're going to need to get yourself some. Out of the box, we first have some clear covers, the dust collector, the instructions, a giveaway, and then, much heavier than I expected it to be, the jigsaw itself. Overall, I feel like it was packaged very well and protected nicely during shipping. Oop, and looks like we had a little spare cover. Per my normal process, I'm reading through the instruction manual so that I can walk you guys through from the beginning just like the instruction manual says to do. First is going to be the anti-splinter device. Basically, this helps to support the wood on the top as the jigsaw is pulling up so that it splinters less. Now this is gonna slide in on these two rails right here and then it's just going to snap into place. Took a little bit more force than I expected it to, but with a little bit of leverage, you can just snap it right in. Next is the shoe cover that's on the bottom of the sole for the tool and it helps to prevent your workpiece from getting marred. If it came snapped on, you can snap it off using those tabs on the bottom, but if it came separate, hook it onto the front and then roll it to the back and snap it in place. Next is the blade cover, which helps to prevent things like fingers from getting in the way of the blade, but also helps to improve dust collection, or at least supposedly. Basically, line it up in the top there and snap it in place. As I had mentioned, it did not come with any blades, so I got a variety pack from Diablo. I've had really good luck with Diablos in the past, and if you'd like to get the same one, I have a link in the description down below. Any T-shank jigsaw blade should work, I just like the Diablos. To load it in, rotate that lever around in the front, similar to a sawzall, and then you're going to slide the T-shank in until you get an affirmative click, and then you're going to release. This jigsaw can also cut a bevel in either direction, but to do that, you need to remove the anti-splinter device. To adjust your bevel, slide the lever out in the back, that's just above the sole, and then you're going to click it forward, and and then rotate it to whatever angle you want your bevel to be at. You can go pretty far in either direction, and then when you want that angle set, pull it back into place, and then pull the lever back to lock it in. Next, if you would like to use it with dust collection, pull the adapter out and slide it into that D-shaped slot on the back. There are two different blower settings on the side. Forward is to blow air out the front, and backwards is to have dust collection collected in the back. This lever on the side adjusts the orbital action from no orbital action at zero to a lot of orbital action at three. Alrighty, and time to load a battery in for the test. One last feature though is the safety. If it is pushed in on the locked side, it is locked, and if you push in on the unlocked side, it is unlocked and will allow the trigger to be pulled. As a quick note on the dust collection, you need to be careful about what adapters you are using to hook up to this, because if you use a lot of the normal adapters, which are symmetric, you're gonna run into your workpiece. I have this set from Rockler, which I really like. They're flexible, and it basically points it up and off your workpiece, which is a lot better. Here's a quick test of dust collection versus no dust collection. In this first test, I have dust collection on, so the blower shuttle back and a vacuum connected. Next is no vacuum with the blower shuttle pointed forward. Here's another view of the same test. Here's a much larger test for another project that I'm working on. From what you could see in the initial testing with dust collection versus no dust collection, there was a little bit less dust when I had the dust collection hooked up, but it was still a pretty dusty process on the whole, and in fact so much so that you can see it building up here. And I actually got fed up with it when I was partway through because there was still so much dust that I just decided to unhook the dust collection and do the rest of it free, blowing forward. And dead battery in the last two inches. I guess that's what I get for putting on a half-charged tiny battery. Overall, though, did exactly what I expected it to. Alrighty, so overall impressions on the Milwaukee M18 Jigsaw, it's really heavy. Um, heavy in a way that, uh, I mean, if you're carrying this thing around all day, might be an issue. However, for me, this would usually sit on top of a workbench for the vast majority of the day because I'm not climbing through the rafters trying to use this jigsaw on anything. Um, but it's really nice, really mobile, and it's not so heavy that you can't take it places. Um, the one thing that I will say is that the dust collection, uh, pun not intended, sucked. 
Um, I was not really impressed by the dust collection. I think it was because it had to neck down so far um, from the vacuum to that tiny little end where the dust port was that it just never really sucked any of the dust. Now, if you had your jigsaw facing backwards so that the dust was coming out more towards the dust port, maybe it would work better. But I found that it worked way better just to use the blow feature that's right here basically to blow air out um, in front, which basically kept the dust away from the blade and away from the line that I was trying to cut much more effectively than if I was just trying to use the dust collection. So anyways, take that with a grain of salt. Maybe it'll work better in your application, but for me, the dust collection didn't really do much. So anyways, I am really impressed by this jigsaw. This is going to be perfect for anything that I need to be doing around the shop. And in fact, um, I feel like this is overkill for most of the stuff that I'm going to be doing around the shop. This thing feels like it is built to withstand far more than I'm going to be subjecting it to. So if you're a contractor or you're uh, in construction, you're in professional carpentry, um, you could use this thing and I bet you'd have a tough time killing it. So anyways, hope you guys found this useful. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. Um, if there was anything that you think that I missed in this review, leave it in the comment section down below and I can always jump out to the shop, test it for you, let you guys know how it does in the particular test that you are interested in. So thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate it. Happy woodworking. Go make some sawdust. Bye.